let's have an example here. A motorcycle stunt rider um, rides off the edge of a cliff, just at the edge of um, his velocity is horizontal with magnitude nine meters per second. Find the motor motorcycle's position, distance from the edge of the cliff, and velocity 0.5 seconds after it leaves the edge of the cliff. Okay, I'll, I'll be giving you maybe a minute to think of how to solve this problem using the equations that we have. Um, and I'll solve this using my one note. So maybe a minute has passed, let's solve this problem. Again, you have a motorcycle stunt rider that drives off the wedge of a cliff. So Itong, um, edge of glory in title niya. So uh, this means that what is the initial velocity in the x direction of the motorcycle? So what is the initial velocity? Yeah. The initial velocity is this one. So pansinin nyo, it's purely horizontal. Kasi nasa top ka. Isipin parang, parang yung kanina nasa maximum height siya. Nasa top ngayon yung motorcycle. And therefore, the initial velocity in the x direction is 9 meters per second. But what about the uh, initial velocity in the y direction? Ano yan? Meron ba siyang velocity at the y direction? Zero. Wala. Therefore, the, this should be zero. Hence, what should be the position? So letter A, find the position of the motorcycle. Cycle after T equals... 0.5 seconds. So, paano makahanapin yung position yan? What is x um, x at after t equals 0.5? So, x of t na lang. Ano yan? Remember, for projectile motion, the acceleration, uh, there's no acceleration in the x direction. Therefore, ano lang yan? This is just x dot plus v not x, I said plus vx times t. But x dot here is 0, and Vx here is constant, this should be equal to velocity at any time. Kasi walang acceleration in the x direction. Hence, Vx here just becomes V not x times t, implying that x at t equals 0.5 seconds is just 9 meters per second multiplied by um, 0.5 seconds, which is equal to, therefore, 4.5 meters. Nakuha? Nakuha? Okay. What about the y component? What about the y component? The y component, again, for the y component, dapat free fall. So you use your position time kinematic equation. Use position time kinematic equation. So in that case, what's your y? Y is just equal to y naught plus v naught y t minus one half g t squared. But what is your v naught y? It's given now here. Um, uh, v naught y vanishes. Wala yung v naught na yan. Wala rin tong y naught na to. Therefore, this just means y equals minus one half g. Um, therefore, y at t equals 0.5 seconds is just minus one half times 9.81 meters per second squared times 0.5 seconds quantity squared. And hence, this is just equal to negative 1.226 meters. So, bakit negative? Kasi, remember, um, uh, remember your coordinate system, the origin is at the start of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the ride. And hence, why should, therefore, since bumaba siya, dapat negative yung magiging value. Thus, the position now is simply, you, we will make this a vector. We have 4.5 meters i hat minus 1.226 meters j hat. Wala namang sinabing magnitude and direction. Therefore, this is an acceptable answer. Just a unit, form ve unit vector form, it's a, that's acceptable. Now, letter B. What about the total distance? So, What about the total distance? How do you calculate the total distance? So this looks like this. So you have a part, uh, um, uh, this one, the, the motorcycle rider, papunta siyang paganyan. So ano yung magiging, so this is your vector R here, the position vector after some time, at time t equals 0.5 seconds. What should be this length here? Paano mahanapin yung length na yan? You determine the total length by using your Pythagorean theorem. This is square 
modulus of r, which is just equal to 4.5 meters quantity squared plus minus 1.226 meters quantity squared. And you, when you do that, the answer is 4 point. So this means that the total distance is 4.664 meters. That is your answer. Okay? Tama? Tama? Nakuha? Gets? Okay. Yes, okay. So, and then after that, you have the velocity. What about the velocity? What about the velocity? Your Vx is just equal to what? Uh, sinabi ko na to kanina. It's the same velocity as that initially. So this is equal to V not X. And therefore, this is just what? From the problem, we have 9 meters per second. Okay? What about the Y component? What about the Y component? Ano naman pag Y component? Uh, Paano pag Y component? Uh, your y component, ang mangyayari dyan, you use your free fall equation. So we have v not y minus gt. But what is v not y? Sinabi ko na yan kanina. So this is just zero, which means that you have minus 9.81 meters per second squared multiplied by the time, which is 0.5 seconds. Um, 0.5 seconds. Which means that this is just equal to, uh, this is just equal to 4.5. Minus 4.905 meters per second. Hence, um, mag muna tong problem na to, sandali, wag ka muna dyan. Uh, hence, the velocity as a vector is 9.0 meters per second i hat minus 4.91 meters per second j hat. That is the answer. Hindi na kailangan i-convert yan to unit back to magnitude and direction simply because hindi naman nire-require the problem. Okay. Are there any questions for this problem? May tanong pa? May tanong? None. None. Okay. 